Hi, I'm Dana Lurkin with Crescendo. I'm here with Dave Finney, longtime friend of the Net Safe Ins platform and uh, Crescendo now, uh, Director of Global Alliances with Poly. Hi. How are you today? I am great, thanks. Thanks for having me on your show. Yeah. So I Oprah. <laughs> So I think that the big thing on everyone's mind right now is going to be the HP new partnership. Uh, can you tell us a little about that? It is it is the big elephant in the room. So uh, certainly HP bought us earlier this year and we will become an official HP company on November 1st. So what that means for us long term is we'll be HP employees. Uh, the really cool part for I think for Poly is that uh, there will be a lot of HP investment back into Poly. So you'll see hopefully some new products and some new uh, new things that we'll bring to the market based on the HP requirement for work from home and all the other stuff that Polly's been working on over time. Now, how do you think that's going to relate to the NetSapiens and Crescendo? Well, that's, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. We think that the, the products, uh, the, the, the audio products, the, like the phones, the, the headsets, the, um, the video products that we currently produce as Poly will still be relevant and those, footprint, those footprints will grow with additional products. Uh, additional management capabilities, and then we like to get creative, and this is just Dave Finney, Director of Global Alliances speaking, but uh, we're talking about packaging where, where we can go into, say, a work from home environment and say, here's your PC, here's your printer, here's your phone, here's your headset, here's your video, boom, open the box and you have an office nice. for the work from home worker. So those are the types of things that we're kind of scheming in our heads but we think it gives us an incredible advantage over our competitors and also gives us an incredible uh, development advantage uh, going forward. Well, what else do you think you have up next? So uh, we are moving in a big way back into the contact center space. So um, uh, we know that, um, that NetSapiens is also, because we, we saw the presentations from the guys yesterday, and we've been talking about that. So one of the big things in the contact center space is headsets and headset integration into the client. So there's been a little bit of discussion this week. There has been over the last couple of years about that. So I've talked to Chris Ocker about that. Uh, so how do we make the headset control the client? So if I want to hang up or if I want to end a call, I can do it from the headset, not necessarily from the client. Uh, we want to provide the best, we do provide the best audio experience uh, for the uh, the agent today in the contact center. So the agent, uh, all the noise around the agent is blocked so that noise doesn't go into the call so the, the customer, the patron, doesn't hear what's going around the agent. So if you're in an agent bullpen, they don't hear all that other stuff, they just hear the agent. What we're working on is technologies that will allow us to block the noise from the patron into the agent so the agent isn't hearing all their background noise. So those are the types of things we're doing in the contact center space which will translate really well to NetSapiens. And again, the whole work from home thing is what, as your service providers and partners are looking to move people to, or as their customers are moving people to home, what does it look like? You know, what kind of noise block capabilities and noise control capabilities, uh, comfort level, I'm wearing a headset all day, audio quality, those types of things we can still continue to build. Because we kind of pivoted when, when uh, um, COVID hit, we had a roadmap and then we pivoted to a work from home roadmap. So a lot of what you see now is, is all, new pro uh, all new product for that type of environment. And on a personal note, um, I've seen a lot of really good things from the poly acoustic fence and I'm excited to see what, what yeah. you just described. Yeah, yeah, we've done, you, you, you were, you, you, you ladies in the mar in NetSapiens were marketing, marketing were some of the first mm -hmm. to use acoustic fence on our phones uh, several years ago and it was an amazing, yes. it was an amazing real live test case and I would go around saying, we were using them and this is really, <laughs> it's really great. Well, we were very happy to be your, uh, your use case and we hope to see that to continue with Crescendo as well. Yeah, yeah we're looking forward to the relationship, uh, we're looking forward to the investments that Crescendo is going to make in NetSapiens mm -hmm. and we're looking forward to a continued partnership. We look at the 230 plus service providers that you have or whatever it is, 200, I think I saw 205 yesterday, uh, but that's a huge community for us, 2.8 million seats on the platform, that's a and lot growing. of business for us, yeah, it's a lot of business <laughs> yeah. for us to go back after to remove some of our competitors. We do have product that ships now, our VVX and our Edge, Edge E lines are fully shippable. Mm -hmm. So we can go back and start to have conversations with customers that had to leave because we had supply issues. Mm -hmm. And now we're, uh, so now with the new lines, uh, we're, we're ready to go back in there and get and win that business back. Mm -hmm. And then all the other things that we bring, like I said, headsets and video and stuff. So uh, the, the, the community is important to us. We, we believe that there's a lot of runway with the NetSapiens platform. I agree. Yeah, so 
Um, anything else that you want that you want to get out before? No, we, just before we go? appreciate being here. Appreciate being the, the executive sponsor. Uh, look forward to already planning and talking about doing that again next year. So yeah, we we plan to be back. Well, thank you very much. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it.